Hey y'all, hope everybody's doing well. And as you probably heard, Taco Bell is gonna be making some changes to its menu coming up in a couple of weeks. Starting on March 21st, they're going to be removing some items and enhancing some items and things like that. And if you've been following my channel here and my social media for a while, you know that Taco Bell is actually one of my guilty pleasures. Occasionally, I will uh, get myself something from there as a treat for making it all the way through to, to the end of the week. And, uh, you know, with the way things have been going the last few years, who doesn't need to treat themselves every now and then, right? So when I heard Taco Bell was changing its menu, as well as... Uh, you know, enhancing some items and getting rid of some limited edition items, I thought, uh, let me uh, get something from there and give it a try uh, before it goes away. And uh, there's actually a couple of things I'm trying. One of them is the uh, chicken crispinanda that I've heard so much about the last couple of weeks. That is a limited time item, and it's going to be going away on March 21st. So I wanted to give it a try before it disappeared. And um, we're gonna see how this goes. Okay, so I've been in the middle of editing the video that you're watching now. And for some reason, all evening, when I placed my order for the chicken crispinata, when I looked at the ticket that was taped to the bag, that I got when my food was delivered. And even a couple of articles I looked at online to verify that what I was seeing, I was seeing was incorrect. For some reason, and this is just how my brain works sometimes and how my brain can have a weird glitch occasionally. For some reason, for most of the evening today, my brain has been reading chicken crispinata as Chicken Crispinanda. There ain't no extra N in there. It's Chicken Crispinata. And I knew that going in. But for some reason, whatever that is, my brain has been reading it all evening as Chicken Crispinanda. So that's why you hear me mispronounce it in this video several times. It's actually chicken crispinata. But hey, that gives you an insight into how my brain works occasionally. At any rate, continue. So here is what I got myself for dinner tonight. The uh, loaded beef nachos, as well as the chicken crispinata, which you see right there. And we're going to give these a try. Specifically, I'm going to try the chicken crispinanda right now and see if it lives up to everything that I've been hearing and seeing online about it. By the way, the chicken crispinanda comes with a uh, cup of spicy ranch sauce. That's what they give you as a dipping sauce for the item. So I wanted to uh, show you that and... That's what I'm going to try here in just a second, and we'll see what this tastes like. All right, so let's give this chicken crispinanda a try here. First of all, I can say that it's actually heavier than I was expecting. Um, they use, it looks like they use the same dough on it uh, or for it that they used to make the uh, caramel apple empanadas, empanadas with. And um, I was expecting it to be, you know, kind of the same weight as that is. But this is actually kind of heavy. I guess that means, you know, they've stuffed it pretty well. And like I said, they give you a cup of spicy ranch sauce with it. I'm going to try it with and without the ranch sauce. So first, let's try it without and see what it tastes like. Hmm. 
Well, the outside was really crunchy. So that's always a good thing. And so far, so good. I mean, it's tasty. So let's try it with a little bit of the sauce there. Okay. All right, that's actually pretty good. The sauce has a nice spicy little kick to it. It is uh, filled pretty well with um, chicken. and uh, Or at least it looks to be filled pretty well with chicken. I've uh, seen and read some reviews online where, uh, you know, customers were saying that Theirs wasn't stuffed very well and didn't have a lot of filling inside. But this one does appear to be stuffed fairly well. And it's good. I'm going to actually finish it up and uh, come back in just a bit with a final word. Alright, as I was saying, I've read and seen reviews online saying that one complaint that customers have is that uh, their item isn't stuffed very well and before I continue eating this I wanted to show you that this one appears to be uh, pretty well stuffed with filling as you can see there All right. I'm going to finish this up and come back with a final word so I'll be back in just a moment all right, so I just finished my dinner. I had the chicken crispinanda and uh, the loaded beef nachos that I door dashed myself from uh, Taco Bell. I'm going to focus specifically on the chicken crispinanda because uh, that will be leaving the menu soon. The loaded beef nachos, from what I understand, are not. They're staying. But um, the chicken crispinanda was good for what it is. You know, it's tasty. Um, the one that I got was the pastry was stuffed well. Uh, I have read some things online and seen some things online that say, you know, some people were not so lucky. You know, the crispinanda that they bought was not well stuffed or well filled. This one was. So apparently uh, I was fortunate in that respect. At any rate, it's good. I don't see it, uh, you know, sticking around on the menu or becoming a, a staple on the menu or even, I don't see it becoming one of those things that they would even bring back seasonally. It's good, it's tasty for what it is, but uh, is it one of those knock your socks off items that's just like, oh my gosh, I gotta have this? Eh, no, uh, but it is good. And if you're curious about trying it, you have until March 21st, because as of that date, the uh, chicken crispinanda is leaving the menu at Taco Bell. At any rate, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.